Hey Peru 16. Hey Peru 16. Hey Peru 16. Hi Peru 16. Hi, my name is Kate McKee. I live in Pueblo Nuevo de Conta in Cañete. This is uh, Jason from uh, San Luis de Cañete. I'm Naomi. I live in La Libertad in a little town called Sambe. I'm Tegan Gulliver. I live in Santiago, Ica. This is Wynn Williams. I'm in Rio Grande in Ica. And this is Watsan. This is Watsan. This is Watsan. This is Watsan. And this is Watsan. This is Watsan. Hey Peru 16. This is John Soden, PCVC. This is Watsan. <laughs> Watson has three goals. Three goals. Three goals. Improve access to safe drinking water. Improve hygiene practices. Developing organizational capacity. Hi, I am Fletcher McKenzie. My site is Independencia Pisco Ica. And right now we are in one of my central poblados, Toma de Leon, doing household water connections. So what does that can really consist of? That consists of exposing the principal line, which is was donated by another NGO and the municipality. And we're gonna put a clamp around that and just pull water to the household connections. And uh, how many households are going to be? There are approximately 130 households and something like 800 people in this project. And how many connections are you doing? We're doing 130 connections. Nice. So in February and March, an, an NGO came in with a bunch of other volunteers and support from um, the community to put in um, a kilometer of new PVC pipes uh, into streets that didn't have any water connections. And we also put 19 new household water connections to um, houses that didn't have any water before. So um, it's uh, about four or five months after and uh, it's in definitely increased the amount of water we've had because uh, water um, in our community was only probably a half hour to an hour a day. Now it's about two hours a day. And um, yeah, so it's definitely helped out a lot in the community. My name is Megan and I live in the district of Nuevo Imperial, seen around you. And this is the Anexo of Aminares, where I'm building 65 dry pit ventilated latrines. So in Aminares, which is a community of about 250 people, um, they mainly do dairy farming. And here they have enough money to build their houses and everything, but still no one has any bathrooms, which is why I decided to do my project here. Another thing that helped was that they came and asked me for them, so I just decided to go for it. But we're doing not only bathrooms, but also hand washing stations and mini bota, botaderos. So it's a pretty uh, comprehensive project that's supposed to help the higiene of the whole entire town. Oh, hello. Almost didn't see you there. Just catching up on a little light reading. Uh, for my main project right now, I'm working in one of my Casarios to build about 50 bathrooms, uh, as well as doing a comprehensive Vivienda Solidables project uh, with the families there. So what that means is, in addition to building the bathrooms, showing them how to use and maintain the bathrooms, uh, showing them the proper hygiene techniques, uh, and, and just ways to lead healthier lifestyles, uh, including maintaining gardens and purifying their water, disposing of their trash properly, things like that. My project is a bathroom project here in Callejon de Romero. We're doing approximately, there's approximately 30 families that live here. We'll probably end up building about 25 bathrooms. They're baños arrastre hidraulicos, which in English translates to poor flush bathrooms. Um, this community does not have a sewage system. They get water twice a week, and it's been the community has been destroyed twice in the past 10 years. Once in 98 by a landslide, and another time in 2007 by the earthquake. 
What's up, Peru 16? My name's Matt, coming at you live here from Chihuahua in Alto Piura. Um, right behind me here, we have uh, one of my projects that I've been working on the last couple years, uh, installing the water system for, for my town. Um, got a spa grant for this, for this bad boy, and uh, we've been happy with it. It's working out pretty well, so it's good stuff. Just kidding, that's a lie. You need a lot more than a spa grant to build this thing. Um, where I'm working right now is in a village, Casavillo, called Naranco, which is way out there, nestled in the hills. It's about an hour, hour and a half hike from here, so I get a little, get a little sweat in getting out there. Um, but it's a great project. It's a Vivienda Saudables project with dry bathrooms, um, micro rellenos. Bio Huertos and a lot of charlas on hygiene, nutrition, um, working with the Haas on the water system and, and water upkeep and a lot of different uh, issues going on in the community. Hi, hi everybody. Um, I'm Karen. This is my site. It's Bernales in Pisco in the Department of Pica. And I'm going to show you a bathroom that was part of a project that I did with an NGO, Builders Beyond Borders. And with this project, we built 40 bathrooms, eight of which were dry bathrooms or composting toilets. And the rest were, uh, three of them, three of the other ones were baños arrastres, which is a porcelain toilet. And then the other ones were all just regular bathrooms connected to the sideway. The first part are the two chambers, right? So you use one chamber for six months to a year. Um, and then you switch to the other one, and you during the time when you're using the second one, the first, all the waste in the first one is drying out. So it, the the actual toilet seat on the part that you sit on is divided into two parts: one where the urine goes, and one where the excrement goes. So the urine goes out into this bucket thing here, and it's there's a. Uh, a hose inside of the camera that is connecting and leading it out and then obviously the back part is where the human waste falls the solid waste falls and that's falling inside of this chamber and so then um, when you're ready to open this up after you've used the second one and you're ready to come back to this one you'll just break the cement around here open it up take a shovel take it all out the idea is that it's all dried out and with lime or ash that you've been pouring into it, it'll help it dry out and decompose. That's pretty much it. Since you ain't always here, I even wrote the song and all the time we shared. And if I'm you can't here. say love, we'll prevail, and even love will overcome. And all the will hey, so one of the things we're working on in Santiago, Tegan and I, and whoever is my replacement, um, is working with trash because we do have a trash disposal program and a trash pickup program in Santiago but as you can see by this acequia in the town um, it's not fully utilized by everybody all the time there's a lot of trash that people throw in the acequia there's a lot of trash that people burn as you can see over there too so the whole idea with this behavior change this barrier analysis study is that we're going to do studies household by household um, with a few other volunteers from Peace Corps and we'll ask them a series of questions to try to find defining characteristics of people who do constantly and consistently use the garbage pickup program and then also the people who don't constantly and consistently use the garbage pickup program and then find the similarities and differences between the two groups so we can figure out how exactly we should address the problem so that everybody is then using the garbage pickup so this is not a disaster zone with lots of flies, dog poo, and just gross things everywhere. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Rico. Welcome to Wonkano. I've been here um, since um, the end of 08 working here and um, I'm currently involved in the construction of a great water system for each house here in a small annex called Reposo. Uh, the, great, the great water system is used to recycle gray water which comes from your sink, your wash water, essentially in any kind of place where you cannot build a desagüe, a great water system is perfect for you. Okay, so within the, within the next couple of days here, there will be a sink which will connect down into a caja of about 40 by 40. And this caja is for trapping uh, sedimentation, dirt, bahia, whatever it is that you don't want to get it getting into your tubes. Those tubes will lead out of the caja into what will be a huerta, which will pass along this area here about 4 meters. 
the, all of this will get cleaned up and the tubes will arrive to a roughly one two meter by half meter um, kaha which is used to filter out the water that's not taken in by the plants. All right, so here's my project. It's the biodigesters. Um, this is part of a project for Vio de Saludables. Uh, I'm working in a caserio called El Checo, where we're going to have uh, nine uh, families that are going to benefit from these biodigesters. A biodigester works as gas leaves. You're able to cook with it, and you can also use it um, for, for light. They're small um, lamps that provide light for the families that don't have electricity. All right, so how does a biodigester work? Um, here we have the entrada. We have a small um, pozo where you met, um, put in a mix of estiércol, which is estiércol de vaca, um, estiércol de chancho, estiércol de cabra. Um, there's many different types of um, animal manure that you can use. There's a mix with water. You put it in this pozo. From here, it enters into the biodigester, as you can see which we are in the process of filling up little by little. And during that time, we have a 30 day period where little by little you're entering, you're entering in more and more um, of the mix and it's passing through the biodigester little by little, little by little, until the end, little by little it's decomposing or decomposing. And uh, during the decomposition, you have, um, gas, um, mainly methane, which is produced, which leaves out a tube from the top, which is inside, you can't quite see it yet. And this tube is filled with gas, leads to a house where you can cook with this gas or you can use the gas to uh, as, as a light source. Um, also another benefit from this is as the, the estiércol or me, uh, mix is coming through the biodigester, the fin final product you can use as fertilizante or abono, um, a type of compost, I want to say, that can be used for your crops, um, sometimes hortalizas, uh, which are verdura, verduras. And uh, that's about it. All right, Bruce 16, that's my project. This is my project. That's my project. All right, guys. Well, that's my project, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Have fun in training, and um, I'll prove at ya. To improve, man. <laughs> well, I hope you guys have a great 10 weeks of training, I think it is, and a really awesome two years in Peru. It's gonna go great. Stick with it, work hard, and have fun. All right, bye. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video and stuff. Uh, so, uh, good luck in training for the next 10 weeks. Um, try to get through it. I have a lot of have a lot of fun. Um, just make sure to learn a lot, and pretty soon you'll be out here doing what I'm doing right now. So take care, and I'll see you guys later. Tell me something exciting about yourself. I uh, train dolphins. Do you, Mr. Hawaii? What else? I killed a guy. <laughs> I knew it. With a dolphin. With a dolphin. <laughs> what about you, Brian? What do you got to say? I have nothing as cool to say as, as, as I killed a man with a dolphin, so I'm not even going to try. How about you, Mr. Brett Kohler? Mr. Dry Bathroom Expert? <laughs> what do you what do you got to say? What? You know, to like the Peru 16 areas or something. About what? I don't know. Whatever. About about Watson. About life. About Peace Corps. About you know your bowel movements. Welcome. You're about to start living the life. You're gonna be you're gonna be pooping at least three times. A day. <laughs> How about you, Kate? What do you got to say? Be afraid. Be afraid. <laughs> Whoa, they're yeah, not gonna they're the not the gonna the like the that. <laughs> 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 Ride spinners, that's what I got to say.